today i am going to deliver realances lecture 18 on problems of monotone convergence theorem by dr p ramlu head department of mathematics mbs government arts and science college autonomous mahabunagar already we have discussed about the monotone convergence theorem what is monotone convergence theorem all bounded monotone sequences are converges all bounded monotone sequences are converges or you can say that uh, an increasing bounded above sequence is converges or an increasing bounded uh, above sequence is converges to supremum this one statement or you can understand when and de a decreasing okay? a decreasing bounded below sequence is converges or this is converges to supremum sorry infimum of s or sn is uh, decrease increasing and bounded above if and only if lim sn is equal to sup sn or a decreasing sequence is bounded below if and only if lim sn is equal to infimum of sn so this uh, statement about the statement of mct we have already discussed simply monotone convergence theorem is called as mct okay what is uh, monotone convergence theorem so application sir i i want to apply this problem right if sn is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus z as 1 by 2 for n if it is like like this then we have to show that sn is converges sn is converges right for showing sn is converges i want to show that sn is either increasing or decreasing and it is bounded then you show that it is converges for that i am taking sn is equal to here sn is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 for n sn plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus dy dy dash 1 by 2 power of n plus 1 i am considering sn minus sn plus 1 here i am considering sn minus sn plus 1 as i said about this term sn plus 1 this term i am writing sn is for this and sn plus 1 is for this up to s 1 by 2 power n terms are cancelled out what is the remaining term minus of 1 by 2 power of n plus 1 which is less than 0 for all n belongs to m which implies sn minus sn plus 1 is less than 0 for all n belonging to m sn minus sn plus 1 is less than 0 for all n belonging to m which implies you can write sn is less than sn plus 1 for all n belongs to m sn is increasing so we know that if sn is increasing or decreasing we can write sn is monotone which implies sn is monotone sequence since sn is increasing we know that all increasing is bounded below sequences if sn is increasing sn is bounded below sequences why because it has lower bound lower bound of sn is s1 which implies s1 is less than or equal to sn for all n belonging to n s1 is less than or equal to sn for all n belongs to n s1 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 that equal to 3 by 2 s1 equal to 3 by 2 3 by 2 is less than or equal to sn for all n belonging to n 3 by 2 is less than or equal to sn for all n belonging to n let uh, sn equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus d as 1 by 2 power n this thing okay here i am considering this is in the form of 1 plus r plus r square plus r power n here that if r is less than 1 this is the formula i know if r is equal to 1 by 2 i am substituting here then what happen 1 plus 1 by 2 power s n equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 2 power n minus 1 it is in the form r equal to 1 by 2 that is 1 minus 1 by 2 or power n plus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 power n plus 1 if i multiply this by 2 here here 1 by 2 right? 2 goes there so 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 power n that is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 power n s n equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 s n equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 power n which is less than 2 for all n belongs to n 2 minus 1 by 2 power n is less than 2 for all n belongs to n 3 by 2 is less than or equal to s n is less than 2 s n is bounded s n is bounded which implies s n is bounded and not on 
by MCT. SN is bounded and SN is monotone. By monotone convergence, we know that all bounded monotone sequence are converges. So therefore, SN is also converges. Here, my SN is 2 minus 1 by 2 4 n. SN is 2 minus 1 by 2 4 n. If I apply limit here, lim SN equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 4 n, that equal to 2 minus 0. So SN is converges to 2. Question. SN is equal to 1 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 to 5 n. Right? Then show that SN is converges. Similar to in place of 2, what we have here only 5. I am quickly explaining that SN equal to this, SN plus 1 equal to this term. I am considering SN minus SN plus 1. Then if I um, if I remove from SN plus 1, here we get minus 1 by 5 power n plus 1 is less than 0. It is in negative terms, right? If I should n equal to 1, n equal to negative. For all n minus 10. Which implies SN minus SN plus 1 is less than 0 for all n minus 10. Which implies SN is less than SN plus 1 for all n minus 10. SN is increasing. And SN, if it is SN increasing, you can say SN is monotone. Since SN is increasing, SN is bounded below sequence. And lower bound of SN is S1. That is S1 equal to what happened? 1 plus 1 by 5. That equal to 6 by 5. Which implies 6 by 5 is less than for less than for all n plus 10. 6 by 5, which is less than for less than for uh, n plus 10. Let SN equal to 1 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus that is 1 by 5 for n. So, uh, from this, I know that this is R, R equal to 1 by 5, 1 by 5 less than 1. If you know the formula, 1 plus R plus R square plus R power n equal to 1 minus R power n plus 1 by 1, 1 minus R if R is less than 1. Here, R equal to 1 by 5, I am substituting here, 1 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 square plus 1 by 5 power n, that equal to 1 minus 1 by 5 whole power n plus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5, that equal to, here we will get 5 minus 1 equal to 4, 4 by 5, that equal to 5 by 4. Here, what is the times? 1 minus 5 power n plus 1. If I multiply this, what we get here? 5 by 4 minus 5 will return 1 by 4 times of 5 power n. Is equal to SN equal to 5 by 4 minus 1 by 4 times of 5 power n. Which is less than 5 by 4, not 5. Which is less than 5 also, but I am writing here, here 5 by 4, right? Which is less than 5 by 4 for all n minus n. So, already we know that SN is less than 6 by 5 less than SN. 4 by 5 less than 5 by 4 for all n minus n. SN is bounded. SN is bounded. SN is bounded and monotone by MCT, by monotone convergence theorem, SN is converges. Here we have here, leave supremum. SN is converges supremum, my supremum is 5 by 4, that's why I am writing here, SN is converges to supremum, that is equal to 5 by 4. So, show that uh, limb of uh, here, uh, I will write that, uh, limb of 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 power n equal to dash. Find you have to find uh, limb of 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 1. Already we know the formula. For that, uh, 1 plus r plus r square plus r power n equal to, we know that, 1 minus r power n plus 1, uh, 1 minus r, if r is less than 1, r power of n plus 1, r power of n plus 1, uh, minus 1, by r minus 1, if r is less than, r is greater than 1. This thing I know. Here we have to find that, what can I find, I want to find that, uh, limit of, uh, what can I find, uh, 1 plus, 2 plus, 2 square plus, 2 4 n, that equal to, here my 2, here join find 1, for that I want to write this. 1 plus r plus r square plus r power equal to what we know that here yeah, r is greater than r, r equal to how much here r is equal to 2 r equal to which is greater than 1 r equal to which is greater than 1 yeah substitute r equal to what happened here or in place of r and substitute 2 that equal to limit of uh, limit of if r greater than 1 the formula is 2 r power n plus 1 minus 1 by r minus 1 r equal to 2, then what happened here, 2 power of, uh, 2 power of n plus 1, 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1, by 2 minus 1, that equal to, that equal to 2 power of n plus 1, 2 power of n plus 1 
minus 1 by 1 only. 2 by 1. 2 power of n plus 1 minus 1. That equal to what happened here? Lim of uh, 2 power of n plus 1 equal to your 2 power of n plus 1 minus lim of 1. This thing equal to infinite. This thing is 1. Infinite minus 1 equal to infinite. So that means here the formula is this the equal to infinite. That means uh, this sequence is diverges. This sequence is diverges. Or you can whether that it is infinite. The sum of this is infinite. Right? So, lemma, we can show that lemma 1 plus 1 by 4, 1 by 4 square plus 4 power. Another similar, you can write that. Uh, here, I am taking similarly, last problem. Already, we did that 1 by 2, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4. So, sim, uh, he, this, uh, this problem is same. I am taking Sn equal to this. So, Sn, I am doing Sn minus Sn. We will get statistically this term. So, cancel out minus 1 by 4, which is less than 0. Simply, this is increasing. And uh, lower bound of S is increasing, you know that uh, lower bound of Sn is S1 and lower bound of S1 is equal to 5 by 4. Why? Because 1 plus, uh, right here, one S1 equal to 1, uh, 1 plus 1 by 4, the increase is therefore it is uh, uh, 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is the lower bound, right? This is 5 by 4 is the lower bound of the sequence. So S1 is in the form of uh, same R, uh, it is in the form like this. If I uh, apply the formula for geometric progression, you can write Sn equal to, you will get that um, 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 whole power of n plus 1 by because n plus, uh, see 1 by 4 whole power of n plus 1, not, not that. Here you can take that uh, Sn equal to 1 plus 1 by 4 plus whole power, you will get that 4 by 3 minus 1 by 1 by 4 power n plus 1. If you multiply, you will get whatever in here, 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 times of 4 power of 1 by 4 power of n. If I apply, uh, this is less than or equal to five, 4 by 3, which is less than or equal to 4 by 3. Sn is less than 4 by 3. Sn is, so already you know that, uh, 5 by 4 is less than, Sn is less than 4 by 3. Sn is bounded and not only it is converges. So, it is converges to 4 by 3. That means, so less than or equal to this term, so 4 by 3, which converges to 4 by 3. Simply, you can write converges to Okay, now this is different problem. If S n equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus that as 1 by n factorial, then show that it is conscious. Then show that S n is conscious. Here I am taking S n is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 2 factorial plus so 1 by 3 factorial plus da 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 so 1 by n factorial. Here S n plus 1 equal to how much? S n plus 1 equal to uh, 1 plus 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by n factorial plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial here. If Sn minus Sn plus 1. What are the terms of here? You can write in place of this, you can simply write Sn plus 1. Not only like this. Okay. Mm. Uh, these terms, this cancel out. Uh, we will get here minus of Sn n plus 1 factorial. Up to this term cancel out. Here we get minus of minus 1 by n plus 1 factorial is less than 0 for all n plus 10. Which implies Sn minus Sn plus 1 is less than 0. If nothing but Sn minus Sn plus 1 is less than 0, which implies Sn is less than Sn plus 1 for all n belongs to n. Sn is less than Sn plus 1 for all n belongs to n. Sn is increasing. If Sn is here, then here that Sn is monotone. We know that every either monotone increasing or decreasing is called monotone, that's why Sn is monotone. Since Sn is increasing, we know that uh, Sn is bounded plus sequence and the lower bound of Sn is S1. So, uh, and S1 equal to lower bound of Sn is S1. S1 is the general Sn for all n. What is this one? S1 equal to 1 plus 1 factorial that equal to what happened? 1 plus 1 that equal to which implies 2 is less than or equal to Sn for all n plus n that equal to 1. Let n factorial, this is already uh, 2 is less than or equal to Sn for all n. So, this is why I found lower bound. 
now if i found uh, increasing already you know that if it is uh, already the lower bound you find if it exists supremum uh, or lower bound it may be bounded then it is converges for that i am trying to show that here what i am taking this is very very interesting n factorial is greater than 2 power of n minus 1 you click up the n factorial is greater than consider this if i consider this uh, proof is very easy right how it is can be equated by n factorial is greater than 2 power of n right n factorial is greater than or equal to 2 power of n minus 1 for all n belonging to n for all n minus 1 here n equal to 1 put what happen 1 greater than or equal to yeah see not greater than or equal to 1 equal to 1 2 power of 1 minus 1 equal to 0, right? So 2 power of 0, 2 power 0 equal to 1. Both are same. If uh, here n equal to 1, n equal to, you can apply here n equal to take like that. Uh, mm, two factor rather than two. Two power of 1 that equal to. Two factorial, two power one. Two factorial is what? Two. What? Both are same. N equal to three. N equal to three. Three factorial. Two power of two minus one. That is equal to two square. See uh, here, what happened? Three minus one is what? Six. Today I am going to derive the answer. Three factorial at the bottom here. N equal to one, N equal to two, N equal to three. Three factorial at the bottom six. Three factorial at the bottom is greater than two power of two. C. Two power three minus one equal to two. With at the bottom six. This is six. Six is greater than four. N equal to four. I can write here. N equal to four. If I write here, what happens here? Four factorial. That is equal to twenty-four. Two power of three. That is equal to eight. This is the eight. Uh, this is twenty-four. So this why. That's why. This, if we consider this, uh, right? If we consider this, our problem is uh, right. In fact, that means this is a very, very important. Why? Because we can use uh, so many times. We will use so many times for right. Uh, so, two power of n minus one for all n belonging to n. So this thing we have to consider. So I am considering this is right. N factorial is greater than two power of n minus one for all units. Which implies one by n factorial is greater than one by two power of n minus one. One by n factorial is greater than equal to one by two power of n minus one for all n belongs to n. If n equal to one, what happens? One factorial one by two power of zero that equal to one. One by two by one, one by two by two by one, both are same. If n equal to one by two factorial. That equal to one by two power n minus one. That equal to one by two. Both are same. If n equal to three, one by three factorial, one by three factorial is less than one by two power three, two power two. One by four factorial is less than one by two power three. So like this, if I adding these inequalities, what we get here? One by n factorial plus one by two factorial plus one by three factorial plus. There, there, there is one by n factorial is less than one plus one by two plus one by two square plus one by two cube plus there, there, there is one by two power of n minus one. So this is greater than equal to what I have been one plus one by two better. Oh, uh, this is not about our SN. This is not about SN. Here one plus up to one by one plus two plus two. Already we know that this is about this terms. So, by previous problem I explained in first problem in my class. So this is uh, one plus one by two better written as one plus. This is separately 
1 minus 1 by 2 power of n, here we have n minus 1, the sum of n terms will be 1 by 2 power n by 1 minus 1 by 2. So, 1 plus a 1 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2, that equal to 2 goes to upside, 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 power of n. If I multiply here, 1 plus 2 minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1. So, what is that? This is 3 plus minus 1 by 2, which implies Sn is equal to 3 minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1, which is less than or equal to 3. This is less than 3 minus 1 by 2, that is less than 3 for all n. Why? Because if I subtract any terms from 3, it will be less than 3, which implies Sn is less than 3 for all n minus 3 and this is 2. From 1 I 2, what happened? Already 1, you know that 2 is less than equal to Sn, which is less than 3 for all n minus 3 and Sn is bounded. Already we show that Sn is monotone, Sn is bounded by monotone convergence theorem, Sn is convergence. Note, the limit of 1 plus 1 by n factorial, 1 by 2 factorial as 1 by n factorial is equal to e. This is uh, how it is, I am talking that. Uh, we know that e power of x is equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus dy 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 x power n by n factorial that is equal to we know that. If I put x equal to 1 here, 1 plus 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus dy dy as 1 by n factorial equal to e. Like that, we are assuming the limit of this equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 factorial 1 by 2 equal to e. So, right, for entrance type of this is very important to can observe. Yeah, this is also very important. Show that the sequence 1 plus 1 by n whole power of n is convergence. Show that the sequence 1 plus 1 by n whole power n is convergence. And take Sn is equal to 1 plus 1 by n whole power of n. It is in the form of binomial expansion. What we know that binomial expansion 1 plus x whole power n equal to nc0 nc1 x plus nc2 into x square plus nc3 into x cube plus added as n c n into x power of n that the in place of x what we have here 1 by n that's why i am substituting in place of n 1 by n in place of 1 by n right so n c 0 n c 1 is equal to n here 1 factorial this is equal to n c n equal to 1 by n factorial uh, 1 by n plus n c to the part n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial by 1 by n square n c to the part n into n minus 1 by n minus 2 by 3 factorial by 1 by n cube plus the add as plus n c nothing but n into n minus 1 n minus 2 add as 3 to 1 by n factorial into 1 by n square n power n here n power of n here i am rewriting this uh, here 1 plus 1 this is n n cancel out here 1 1 by 2 factorial what i do here n square is there i am I, I, n n gets cancel out if i dividing by n minus 1 here we will get 1 minus 1 by n similarly here we have n cube n cube written as n by n, n minus 1 by n, n minus 1 by n, right, n cube written. If I return like that, n n get cancelled out, 1 minus 1 by n and 1 minus 2 by n will get here, 1 minus 1 by n, 1 minus 2 by n plus the address. Similarly, here n power n, if I write n power n, uh, 1 by n factor will get cancelled out, you can write n, 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 then 3 by 2. So, if I divide the odd term, we will get here 1 by n factorial, 1 minus 1 by n, 1 minus 2 by n, the address 1 minus n minus 1 by n this thing will get which equal to sn plus 1 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by 3 factorial 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 1 minus 1 by 2 power of n right right here i am observing here these terms so already i am written like this okay all terms i am written as like this 2 factorial 1 by 3 factorial this thing right we know that 1 by n is greater than 1 plus 1 if I multiply minus, then what happens? Minus 1 by n is less than minus 1 by n plus 1. If I add both sides, 1 minus 1 by n is less than 1 by 1 by n plus 1. This thing I know. 1 by 2 by n is less than 1 by 2 power n plus 1. 1 by n minus 1 by n is less than 1 by 2 power n minus n plus 1. This thing. It means as so, here, it is look like. That means, Sn plus 1 equal to this. Sn equal to this. Sn equal to this. Sn equal to this term. If I write Sn plus 1 equal to what happens here? Sn plus 1 equal to n plus 1, I first put n plus 1. Sn plus 1 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by n plus 1 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial, 1 by n plus 1 plus n plus 1 factorial, Sn plus 1 equal to 1 minus 2 power n plus 1, dash dash dash. In place of n, I am substituting n plus 1. And I am writing 1 minus 1 by n is less than 1 by 1 plus n1, all right, right? If I multiply adding any numbers, same factor, same coefficient here we have. If I multiply, we will get Sn, all terms, first two terms of Sn and Sn are equal. And all rest is less than this. First two terms of 1 plus 1 both are equal. 
all terms are less than this so so therefore what can the sn is less than equal to sn plus 1 for all n blocks when sn is increasing now sn is increasing i show that and oh, the lower bound of sn is s1 but you can remember that s1 is less than equal to sn for all n blocks then now sn equal to 1 plus 1 1 by 2 factorial 1 into 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 by 3 factorial 1 into 1 minus 1 by this thing really after modifying this i am writing this this one minus in less than 1 1 by 2 factorial get 1 by 3 this term is less than 1 this term is less than 1 you can write it as 1 by 3 factorial similar 1 by 4 factorial 1 by 5 factorial here 1 by n factorial right And already we know that one by n factorial less than one by two power n. Minus. Just now we did some problem here. So these whole terms, one plus one, this whole term is less than one by two, one by two square, one by two four three. The idea is one by two power of n minus one, according to this principle. That means S n is less than three for all n belongs to one. Since S n is increasing and S n is bound on S n is bounded below sequence, so and lower bound of S n is S one, S one equal to which implies what happened? Two is less than or equal to S two less than or equal to for all n belongs to right. So here, see here from here right two less than or equal to S n for all n belongs to from one and two here. This I am writing this one two. What I am writing here from one and two two is less than or equal to S n four is less than three for all n belongs to. Therefore S n is bounded and monotone sequence by M T M C T my monotone Turner theorem. S n is conjugates. Just now already we shown that S n is conjugates. So here it is the term of S n is lies between two less than or equal to three. The previous problem is so lies between two and less than three. They be taken that uh, limit is equal to e. Here also I am taking limit is equal to e. That means I am considering here. It is look like the previous problem. That's why I am considering this. I am considering limit of n tends to be one plus one by n whole power n equal to e. Okay. This by using this method. Uh, already in limit of continuous function we can show we can show that like this also. There we shown that limit of x tends to zero one plus one by n plus of x to the zero, one plus x whole power one by x forty. Similarly, it is the same problem in place of x. What we have one by x, in place one by n we have here n tends to x to the zero one by n. Simply, what you do here, one by n tends to zero. It is look like same only one by n, right? So in place of x, substitute to n, you can substitute to x. So then what happen? Of uh, one by x tends to zero. Again, x to one by x. So that is equal to also e. This kind of problems all solve. Other way you can use, uh, you can show that this is equal to e by using simplest method, which are in functions, limit of function. Okay, so by you can consider that we can use this limit of n tends to infinity one plus one by n equal to e. Similar with this formula, you can derive why because this kind of questions will come in examinations as well as any entrance examination will be appearing in PG mathematics also, right? Limit of one plus x by n whole power of n equal to e power of x. Limit of one plus x whole power one by n equal to e. Here, just simply here e power one, here e power one. Here, if we have x here, you can simply write here e power of x one plus one by x whole power n equal to e power of x. This is the formula, right? By using this formula, you can rewrite all these things. Sorry, lima one plus one by n whole power n equal to e, which implies lima one by one plus n whole power n equal to also e. Why? Because you can you can have lima one plus one by n equal to whole power n into lima. We can simply here write. Uh, so uh, I am writing here. Lima of o. We know that uh, lima of o. Uh, this thing we know. Lima of one plus one by n equal to e. I know. So if it is this happen, then I am writing this is uh, lima of o. One plus one by n. Lima one by n. That is also e. Why? Because I am rewriting this. How? That is also e. Why? Because I am rewriting this. This can be written as this can be written as so limit of one plus limit of one plus one by n whole power of n. That is equal to can be rewritten this way. So one plus One plus one by n. Mm -hmm. 
this thing equal to e this thing equal to e and this thing equal to 1 right into e into 1 1 plus 1 by equal to 1 by 0 this thing equal to e this is equal to e that's why this also equal right similarly limit of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus 1 also both are same right? that's why lemma of 1 plus 1 by n 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 whole power n equal to c. Why do you say that? Limb of 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 whole power n equal to e. So if you write anything, both also will be same. You can use the same trick by right. Okay. So this thing you have to remember. Okay. Problem. For example, find the following limit. Limb of 1 plus 1 by 2 power n equal to n. In place of x, what we are 1 by 2 by n x in place of x we have here 1 by 2 that by you know that lima x by n all power n equal to e power x x in place of x what do you have 1 by that equal to root e so not 2 to root e here root e lima 1 plus 2 all power n equal to in place of x what we have 2 that power that equal to e here we have n tending to infinite if n tending to 0 it will be different from this you have to keep it in mind if n, n tending to 0 is different, here my limit is in sequence, so I am n tending to infinite only. Limb of infinite, n tending to infinite, 1 plus 2 by n whole power n equal to e square. Limb of 1 by 1 minus 2 power, 1 by 1 minus 2 by n whole power n equal to e power of minus 2. e power of minus 2, that equal to 1 by e square. e power minus 2, that equal to 1 by e square. In place of x, what we have here, minus 2. That's why I am writing e power minus 2 that equal to 1 by e square. Limma of 1 minus 1 by 2 power n whole power of n. Here minus 1 by 2. In place of x what we are minus 1 by 2. That's why I am writing e power of minus 1 by 2 that equal to 1 by root e. Limma of 1 plus 1 by n square whole power of n that equal to e. 1 plus 1 by n square whole power of n equal to e. Limit of 1 plus 1 by n whole power of 2n. That equal to limma of 1 plus 1 by n whole power of n. This can be written as whole square, that is called this thing, you know, whole power is square is there, e square. Lemma of 1 plus 1 by n whole power n by 2, that equal to root e. Lemma of 1 plus 1 by n whole power n by 2 is equal to root e. Lemma of 1 plus 2 by n whole power n by 2 is equal to e. Here, what I am writing here, this is root e. This thing, whole power can write root, root of this limit. Uh, this term equal, we know that this is uh, e square root e square equal to e this is also why because both if i write 2 by n by 2 1 plus 1 by n by 2 n by 2 n by 2 into both n right so that is also g yeah so these are the different type of problems if the sequence sn is defined by s1 equal to root 2 sn plus 1 equal to root 2 sn is square root of root 2 sn 2 sn square root of 2 sn for all n last n then show that this capital d then show that Sn is converged to 2. We have to show that Sn is converged to 2. The sequence Sn is defined by Sn equal to S1 equal to root 2 and Sn plus 1 equal to root 2 Sn for all n belongs to n. I am writing S1 equal to 1. If S1 equal to what happened? Root 2. S2 equal to 2 root 2 S1. S1 is equal to root 2. That means root 2, right? This 2 equal no. I am considering 2 equal to 2. I am considering 2 equal to 2. If I multiply right side here by root 2, what happens? 2 is less than 2 root 2. 2 is less than 2 root 2. Which implies root 2 is less than root times I both apply root both side root here. Root 2 is less than root of 2 root 2. This is nothing but S1. This is nothing but S2. That means it is true for n equal 1. I want to prove this relation whether Sn less than equal S1 or Sn plus 1 less than by using mathematical induction. So it, it is true for S1 is less than it is true for n equal to 1. Let it is true for n equal to 1. I am writing that SK is less than SK. That means I am assuming it is true for n equal to k. So SK is less than SK plus 1. I am multiplying here 2 SK is less than 2 SK plus 1. I apply root 2 SK prime root of 2 sk plus 1. This is nothing but sk plus 1 is less than sk plus 2. This is nothing but root sk, sk plus 2. Why? Because our problem is sk sn plus 1 equal to root sn. In place of kn, what we have k, that means sk plus 1 is less than sk plus 2. 
So which implies it is true for n equal to k plus 1. It is true for n equal to k plus 1. By induction, by mathematical induction, it is true for all n belongs to n. By mathematical induction, it is true for all n belongs to n. So which implies Sn is less than Sn plus 1 for all n belongs to n. Which implies Sn is increasing, Sn is monotone. Since Sn is increasing and Sn is bounded to below sequence and lower bound of Sn is S1 and S1 is equal to root 2. Therefore, S1 is less than or Sn for all n belongs to n. Why? Because lower bound of Sn is S1 which means Sn is increasing. S1 is equal to root 2. Root 2 is less than or equal to Sn for all n belongs to n. It is writing it in 1. Now, I want to do that. I want to find that upper bound of Sn. For that, I am finding here uh, upper bound by using induction only. I am assuming here. We know that root 2 is less than 2. Right? Root 2 is less than 2. We know that. Which implies S1 is less than 2. Which implies S1 is less than 2. This is my idea, basic idea. I am trying to show that S is converges to root 2. They are asking to show that it is converges to That means it is increase sequence. We know that increase sequence converges to the upper bound of the entire. It converges to 2 only. We know that increase sequence is converges to 2. My answer is I will come That means I am uh, by using that idea I am taking this. If it is not asking you only by assumption uh, you can take that. Uh, this is right. You can remember that. Okay. It is depending on the S1 defined. It is true for n equal to 1. Right. Later I am taking it is true for n equal to k. I am multiplying sk is less than 2. I am multiplying both sides to sk. I am multiplying both sides 2 times. 2 sk is less than 2. 4 root 2 sk is less than root 4 this is sk plus 1 root 2 sk nothing but sk plus 1 root 4 equal to 2 that means it is true for n equal to k plus 1 also it is true for n equal to k plus 1 also by induction by induction it is true for all n belongs to n it is true for all n belongs to which implies sn is less than 2 for all n belongs to n, this is true. From 1 and 2, already we know that root 2 is less than Sn, is less than 2 for all n belongs to Sn is bounded. And already we know that Sn is monotone. Sn is bounded and monotone by monotone convergence theorem, MCT, Sn is converges. Sn is converges. Let, I want to show that it is converges to 2 only. Let, I am assuming here, limb Sn equal to L. I want to show that L equal to if it is n equal to L, I know that limb of Sn plus 1 also L. We know already last starting we define in define in defining converges of sequence. If Sn is converges to L and limb of Sn plus 1 also converges to L. That's why I am writing limb of Sn plus 1 also converges to L. Limb of Sn plus 1 nothing but root 2 Sn here to root 2 Sn that equal to L. Nothing but root 2 L. Root 2 to L, right? So squaring both sides in 2L is equal to L square. L square minus 2L. L square minus 2L. If I take L common out, L into L minus 2, that equal to 2, L equal to 2, S1 is greater than root n, so that's why L cannot be 2, why L not cannot be 0, why because all terms of sequence is going to positive only, that means it is greater than 0 only, L cannot be 0, that means, uh, so uh, L minus 2 equal to 0, L equal to 2, Lim S n equal to L, L equal to 2, then Lim S n equal to L, therefore S n is converges to 2, so this is we have shown. So same kind of problem you can do other problem here we are showing different kind of problem. If the sequence Sn is defined by S1 equal to root C is greater than 0 and Sn plus 1 is equal to root C plus Sn for all n plus n then show that Sn is converges. Earlier it has defined at root 2 same problem in place of 2 I am defining C in place of plus or dot I am defining plus. This is the changes, major changes of this problem. Okay. Here I am defining, let the sequence n is defined by, the sequence Sn is defined by S1 equal to root C, this S1. Sn plus 1 equal to root C plus S1. Okay. So same position I am taking S1 equal to root C, S1 equal to root C. S2 is equal to what happened? Root C, S1. See, here we have plus, I think this is plus, root C plus S1. S2 equal to root C 
plus s1 here c plus s1 right i'm taking c plus c is equal to c i'm taking c is equal to c i'm adding root c here c is less than c plus root c i'm squaring both sides as well right square rooting both sides square root if i do that uh, root c is less than root c plus root c root c plus root c this is s1 this is s2 s1 is less than s2 it is true for n equal to 1 let i'm assuming it is true for n equal to k so i want trying to prove the mathematical induction only let it is true for n equal to k sn is less than sn plus 1 we know that here c plus s not c s k here i'm writing here c plus s k is less than c plus s k plus 1 n equal to k that means i want to write that s k is less than s k plus 1 s k is less than s k plus 1 I am adding C plus SK is less than C plus SK plus 1. Squaring both sides, C plus SK is less than C plus SK plus 1 here. So, what I am doing here? So, we ask me to write. Uh, so, what we know that uh, my sequence is defined by. Uh, S1 equal root C. Sn is equal to Sn plus 1, not S, Sn plus 1. Yeah. C plus uh, S. C plus Sn. S1 equal to root C, S10 plus 1 equal to that uh, is defined like this. S10 plus 1 equal to root C plus 1, right? I want to try and show that uh, this is single, right? Oh, okay. S1, we know that I am taking that C equal to C. Here I am adding some root C right side. Then what happens? C is within. Yes, C is positive. Where C is positive terms. If I if negative, it cannot be defined like that. I am taking C is positive. For that, I am writing a C plus root C. C plus root C. So, square root both sides, then what happened here, square root in both sides, root c is less than c plus root c. This is nothing but s1, this is nothing but s1, this is nothing but s2. So, S1 is less than S2. Therefore, by mathematical, I am doing that it is it is true for it is true for n equal to 1. n equal to 1. It is true for n equal to 1. So I am assuming let uh, let uh, it is let uh, it is true for n equal to k. By right, it is true for n equal to k. So, which implies what I mean, it is true for n equal to k. I am taking assuming here s k is less than s k plus 1. So, I want to prove that it is true for also s k plus 1. For this, what I am doing here, I am adding both sides c, c plus 
एस के सी प्लस एस के एमआईडी इज लेस देन एमआईडी वो सेट सी सी एस के प्लस वन सो ये मैं स्क्वायर रूट इन बोथ साइड स्क्वायर रूट बोथ साइड This is S K plus one. Is that then? This is given as S K plus two. S K plus one is that then? S K plus two. So by it is true for n equal to k plus one. It is true for you can write n equal to k plus one by induction. By induction, it is true for all n belongs to n. That means S n is less than or equal to S n plus one for all n belong to n. So that means it is increasing. S n is increasing. I am do. It is lower bound of S n is S n. I am do. Lower bound of S one is increasing. That means uh, monotone and lower bound of S one is S one. S one is so uh, S one is less than equal to S n. S one is less than equal to S n for all n belonging to. What is S one here? Here two is less than equal to S n. Root C sorry. This is C right here. S one equal to C. That means uh, root to root C is less than equal to S n for all n belonging to this thing, you know. So we show that it's increasing and upper lower bound. Now we are finally increasing uh, upper bound of sequence, right? So lower bound is one is one equal to root c, right? I am saying here root c is uh, is less than uh, plus n for all n plus n, which implies that root c is less than root c plus one. I am adding both side plus one, which implies s one is uh, less than c plus one. This is s one. Of uh, I'm adding both sides. This is less than c plus one. Okay, which is less than also c plus one. I'm writing here root c where root c plus one is less than c plus one also. It is true for n equal to one. I'm writing this is true for n equal to one. I'm assuming this. It is true for n equal to. I'm assuming that s k is less than c plus one. I'm adding both sides c. Then what happens here? C if I add both sides c c plus s k is less than c plus c plus one. That is equal to 2c plus 1 here. C plus s k is less than 2c plus 1, which is less than c square plus 2c plus. Why? Because I'm adding both right sides. C square then order which less than c square plus 2c plus 1, which implies c plus s k is less than c square plus 2c plus 1, and square root both sides then order pen here. C plus s k is less than root c square plus 2c plus 1. Nothing but c plus 1 whole square. Whole square will cancel out c plus 1. That means s k plus 1 is less than c plus 1. S k plus 1 is less than C plus one. It is true for n equal to k plus one also for all n plus n. It implies S n is less than C plus one for all n plus n. This is one. So and root C is less than S n is less than C plus one for all n plus n. S n is bounded and monotone. S n is bounded and monotone by M C T. S n is converges. S n is converges. Right. So this way we have to show that. If you ask to find the what is the limit of the sequence, you can easily write that. If S n equal to C, S n plus one equal to C. And okay, if S n equal L, S n plus one equal to C, then what I can right hand my sequence define like this. So okay, so here you can take that oh, L. This is L. This is C plus root C plus L. L square equal to C plus L. Okay, by using this you can find the limit of the sequence. Okay, what is coming is coming is to just. Okay, what can you do that here? Limit S n is equal to L. That is called root c plus l. Root c plus squaring both sides. L square that equal to c plus l. L square c plus l. 
एल स्क्वायर प्लस एल माइनस सी एल स्क्वायर माइनस एल माइनस प्लस सी और ओके फ्रॉम यूज दिस इट इज क्वार्टर इक्वेशन एल यू कैन राइट एल इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बाय बाय दिस सो दैट मींस यू कैन फाइंड दी इज द लिमिट ऑफ द सीक्वेंस राइट सो इफ यू वांट यू कैन डू व्हाट कैन आई डू हियर व्हाट टू डू हियर इफ यू वांट आस्क टू फाइंड लिमिट सो दे डिफाइंड इफ आई लाइक दिस सो एस एन प्लस वन इक्वल ट C plus uh, root of C plus S n. Root of C plus S n. Lim of uh, S n plus one. Lim if I play lim. S n equal l. I am writing this is S n equal l. Which implies uh, lim of uh, S n plus one also l. So nothing but here, then plus what? Root to c plus uh, s n. That equal to also l. Limit. So that means uh, that equal to root c plus l. That equal to l. Squaring so, both sides, we will get here. C plus L equal to L square. This come this side. Then what happen? It is quarter equation in L square. L that means L square minus L minus C equal to zero. It is form square. It form A square X square plus B Y square plus C square. So that means L is equal to what happen? L is equal to minus one nothing but one. Plus or minus b square at the bottom. One plus four ac at the bottom. Four c by two a at the bottom. One. So here my terms cannot be taken. Any terms so here, but I write this. So, so I am writing my conversion one plus so one plus four plus. Positive right. L equal to this. Why am not minus one because so if I take L equal to C C equal one, that means it is less than terms. If I take uh, L is equal to like this, it is less than terms for some values. If I take L is equal to one minus so uh, one plus four C. Negative if C is equal to one. You can see equal to one. Then what happen? One by root five. Root five equal to one two by something. One minus two by negative. That's why my so my s one is positive and all terms are positive. S one equal to root c is positive. Cannot be negative. That's why my limit is this one. L is equal to one by. That was the given series. Can I just do L that equal to one plus root one by four c one plus four c by two right? So uh, this is end lecture. Thank you for watching this uh, lecture. So these are some problems already we solved. Okay, this kind of problem. Next lecture also we will solve some other problems from by MCT.